It's the time of bloody hell. Sorry. Now we're gonna react to another video. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> it's a year again where all of the MMO content creators make one of those list videos talking about the upcoming MMORPGs that might Huzzah! be releasing in 2023. Even though experience has taught us that half of these games will be perpetually pushed back another year, or will never to be come out. Featured on next year's list. Yeah. Honestly, some of the games featured in this video won't ever come out, and the ones mm -hmm. that do probably won't live up to expectations. Yep. This list will be organized in the order of the MMOs that I'm the most optimistic about to the Ooh, ones that I'm less optimistic about. Is that Blue Protocol? About. But first, sponsor. AFK Arena is the number one idle RPG hero collector available for free on both Android and iOS. This is a game I've been playing myself for over two years now, and it's a chill game to whip out Why is there no the subtitles for this part? or enjoying a coffee. In this game, you'll be gathering AFK resources that build up daily, collecting AFK getting ads? heroes, and combining them in a Wait, team. You guys that don't like watching together, ads? As well as I'm watching it with missions, you. Puzzles, PvP, events, and looting generous rewards. Recently, AFK Arena like has released three a new pet system to the game really? that adds further depth to Whoa, the strategic pets? aspects of building team comps. Each Fine, we don't have to watch this. Style, ability, this is the most replayed part of the video. FZJK85Y, <laughs> as well as DON 2023, as displayed on screen, for some incredible rewards to help you on I your pet like collecting AFK this adventure. Download now. If you're a regular viewer of the channel, you know that Ashes of Creation is the MMORPG that I'm personally the most excited for. It's the most ambitious. Release date 2024, the platforms PC, business model sub, genre MMORPG. Who here in the chat is looking forward to this game? To be honest, I'm looking forward to any MMO, absolutely any single MMO. I will play any MMO that comes out because I just love the first like week, the first like two weeks <laughs> are just magical. There is nothing else in the world quite like it. The starter zones where you run around with everyone else and try to level, yeah. model they're going for doesn't compromise the integrity of the game. It's a nice mix of sandbox and theme park, as well as a mix between both PvP and PvE content. Zombie. This game has so many features that talking about them all would take too much That's time. Nice tree. So for more info, check out the big Ashes of Creation overview video on my channel that I made a Damn. few months back. I don't think we've watched, so when will Ashes... I don't think I've reacted to any Ashes of Creation videos at all i like it's so ugly and it's never coming out are you sure what's gonna come out first then this or the riot mmo <laughs> i think this is gonna come out of creation Not release sooner. Well, personally, I think we can expect Alpha 2 sometime in the first half of 2023, okay. with beta and full release late 2024. There's no official dates given Damn, yet, but by the time 2024 rolls around, the game would have been in full development for seven years. I don't think I'll even be alive. the amount of time it took to develop MMOs such as Elder Scrolls Online and Arcage in the past. The Riot MMO. Okay. I did a poll on my YouTube channel a few oh. weeks back, and next to Ashes of Creation, no. the Riot... No, I mean, come on! Oh, 23 and beyond. Okay, okay, okay. 25, dude, like, let's be real. This isn't coming out until... This isn't coming out until I am in... I am I am in an old person's home and I don't have... Is this TFT? This MMO was the second most highly anticipated MMORPG. Riot Games have a ton of money, resources, and talent. All the games they've released in recent years have turned out to be highly polished and successful, and they've kind of turned into a new age version Wait, what of game what was, Blizzard Entertainment what game used to be, where they would take a game or genre and put their own spin on it whilst making it highly accessible. We don't have a lot of info about the Riot MMO, and due to the fact we haven't seen any gameplay or even screenshots of the game, I can't see it releasing anytime soon. Yeah. In my opinion, this is a 2025 and beyond MMO. MMO release. Yeah. Finally, a Beyond game that's actually that, going to release think. in 2023. Oh, okay. Crane and Liberty. This game's been in development for an eternity. Initially, it was supposed to be Lineage 3 and was first shown off at G-Star in 2011. I have 2011. never heard of this game. Then they moved the game to Unreal Engine 4 under the name Project TL. Then after that, they renamed it to Throne and Liberty and changed from an isometric MMO to a third-person open-world action combat MMO. 
This game's going to be a big competitor to Black Desert Online as it features castle sieges, open world PvP, guild vs guild battles, as well as massive world boss fights for hundreds of players in the open world. Woo! Personally, I'm very excited for this game, even though there's a high likelihood of it being pay to win. The game's currently targeting a release window of Q2 2023. Diablo 4. Some people play might that. not consider this an MMORPG, and I'll play this as well. but you're able to see other players running around a massive shared open world and have the opportunity to group up with them, as well as touch a bit of that MMO feeling when taking down world bosses. Diablo 4 will also have PvP and other features that will also likely appeal to MMO fans. Diablo We're gonna 4 fuck will be this releasing so bad. on Why? June 6th, 2023, and I'll definitely be covering it on this channel when it does. How do you think they're going to ruin Path that game? Path of Exile 2. Once again, not an MMORPG, but the game will feature co-op parties for up to six players. PoE 2 I seems never like it's got a lot less Path shared world MMO light features when compared to Diablo 4, but will likely make up for it in depth, build variety, replayability, and content updates. Most MMORPG players that I know are also excited for Path of Exile 2, hence why I decided to include it in this list. Oh god, and those so far, the spiders game's looking were like awful! Be releasing in either Q1 or Q2 2024. Blue Protocol is an upcoming anime MMORPG yes! from Japan that's almost certainly going to be releasing in 2023, most likely early spring. This game already has a Steam page available and has been in development for quite some time. I actually played the closed beta of Blue Protocol over two and a half years ago at this point, before the yeah. game just went full radio they silence had, um, for two years. They had a beta as well last... the weekend that we just had the closed one in japan i think i'm very interested in this blue protocol i am definitely gonna be playing this game from what i remember it was a decently fun story driven pve mmo although at the time nothing really blew me away about it regardless most japanese made mmos tends to do fairly well in the west and i'd expect blue protocol to be relatively popular as long as it's got plenty of content as well as a fair business model Crimson Desert. This is not an MMORPG. It's a story-driven single-player RPG with multiplayer elements. Oh. As to the extent of those multiplayer elements, we're not sure yet as of the making of this video. Regardless though, this is a game being developed by the same developers as Black Desert Online, which means it will likely have an amazing action combat system that will likely appeal to most MMORPG fans. As for release oh. date, it's currently looking like Q3 or Q4 2023. Wait, sorry. Arcage 2. Wait, 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 stop. Middle Black Desert. Not an MMO. Are they? How are they going to make it pay to win then? Business model. What is that? Buy to play. So it won't be play. It won't. Be, it won't be pay to win. Maybe they're sick of pay to win. I just. Oh, I fucking loved Black Desert. I put so many hours into it until I reached a wall where I had to stop paying. It's such a shame because it was such a beautiful game. It had the best character creation and customization of any game I have ever played. And it had a beautiful world, and it was so. It was, and you could and you could tame horses, wild horses, and then breed them, and then sell them, and then that could be how you made money in the game. And that was amazing. It was so amazing, and that you, that you could play the game without even fighting anything. I just a beautiful game, and they ruined it with pay to win. As Black Desert Online, which means it will likely have an amazing action combat system that will likely appeal to most MMORPG fans. As for release date, it's currently looking like Q3 or Q4 2023. Arcage 2. What's that? This Unreal Engine 5 MMORPG Don't... will be available on both PC oh. and consoles and feature a massive open world with an action it's... combat system. Blah, 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 blah. I don't think I played... I think I... Did I play Arcage? I don't know. I feel like I just made a character and then deleted it. Um, is this one of the ones that was like super pay to win because they like completely ruined the... um? The economy in the game or something. I can't remember. Any lore masters? A level beyond pay to win, ascended pay to win. I know, but I won't tell you. <laughs> what? Solid mix of both PvP and PvE content, as well as the ability to build giant ships and sail the open seas, which was the most famous feature from Arcage 1. Damn. The recent teaser trailer we got for Arcage 2 got me extremely excited. The game looks absolutely beautiful. It does. And I hope XL Games have learned from their past mistakes with Arcage 1. 
So far, this game is slated for a 2024 release. Oh. However, I personally wouldn't be surprised to see it pushed back into 2025. It's also a Korean MMO with a big emphasis on PvP, so I'd also expect it to have pay-to-win elements. Right. Night Crows. This game was unveiled in November 2022 with one Night of the most Crows? badass trailers I've ever seen for an MMO. What's even more surprising is that the game is slated for an April 2023 release. The game's key feature what? is that it can supposedly support 1,000 player PvP battles, which is something I'm kind of skeptical about. Visually, the game looks very nice, utilising Unreal Engine 5's rendering tech. However, my biggest scepticism comes from the fact that Nightcrows will be cross-platform on PC and mobile. What? And apparently use blockchain technology. No idea how this game's gonna turn out, but I'll be trying it regardless. Can someone explain to me what blockchain technology is? Is that like... Is that like NFTs and stuff? NFT shit? Wayfinder is yet another recently announced game making this list, and it Wayfinder. actually looks pretty decent. I'm not too sure to what extent this game is massively multiplayer, but MMORPG is a tag that the game is using to describe itself on the game's Steam page, which is already up and available for wishlists. Based purely on the trailer, Wayfinder to me looks like a third-person multiplayer stage-based looter, but I might be wrong. Not much details are known other than huh? the game will launch in late 2023 and have a fair free-to-play business that model. That looks nice. What? That it kind of looks like... Days. Palia is probably the most casual <gasps> MMORPG on this list, and that certainly isn't a bad thing. This is the beautiful! Exact niche this game is targeting. What is this? Imagine Sim MMR? What does that mean? What does that mean? Free to play. In Stardew Valley, but 3D, third person with multiplayer. <gasps> Basically, the perfect game to play with your partner. Palia describes itself oh as a community God. sim game set in a vibrant <gasps> world with a cozy art style and no, vibe. This is in so this game, beautiful. you can forage, hunt, mine, catch insects, go fishing cook, furnish your house, and do some gardening. As for release date, I'd expect this sometime in late 2023, as the game's already had multiple playtests at this point. Core Punk. This is quite a that unique upcoming MMO. That looks so nice! That looks so nice! It's an MMO without combat! That is like the perfect game! Why has no one made one of those yet? Oh man! That looks so good! When did he say that was coming out? 2023? Did he say... Sometime late 2023. Oh, that looks so good. This sometime in late 2023, oh, as so the game's good. already had a multiple playtests at this point. Core Punk. This is quite a unique upcoming Core MMORPG Punk. that I've personally been excited for for quite a long time. I sorry, this is not related, but I watched I this this woman has been living rent free in my head ever since I saw this TikTok like two weeks ago. This woman on on TikTok and she was saying how she thinks that steampunk is stupid and overrated and messy and she was saying that there's like a whole like a, like it's like a load of like extra shit like convoluted like way of using technology that you don't need and then she was saying and then she was saying that uh, that arcane is is it's stupid and ugly but like it's not even it's not even stupid. arcane's not even steampunk arcane's like its own different kind of punk it's like it's like a hex and, and chemtech and shit it's not steampunk it was so angry how stupid could you be a steampunk is not stupid it's cool it's nice imagine mobile <laughs> style top-down gameplay but in an mmorpg with fog of war it's oh. certainly a unique concept this that hasn't cute. been done before core punk looks like it has a solid mix of both pvp oh. and challenging pve content crafting an open world but is it character customization style, character customization and multiple classes there we go <laughs> in terms of development the game looks pretty far along based on the gameplay shown and was supposed to have a beta test at the end of 2021 which was delayed unfortunately the devs faced further delays due to having a studio based in ukraine at the start of the I war i think the only thing i just i don't know i think this game i think the font that they've chosen is making it look kind of dated. Just change the font, dude. But you can't see that there's more stuff here. Change the font. <laughs> Thankfully, the most recent update states that the team are fully back on track, so I'd expect us to get our hands on Core Punk sometime in 2023. Bitcraft is a game that's taking a different approach <gasps> to the this sandbox this? MMORPG genre. As you can see from the trailer, it has cozy, stylized, cell shaded graphics and quite a relaxing vibe. 
This game features procedurally generated landscapes, oh. the ability for players to come together and construct their own towns, crafting and gathering systems, farming, hunting, <gasps> and fishing. And it seems to be a cross between survival <laughs> game and MMORPG with a strong social focus. Yes. No announced release date yet, but the games recently began the pre alpha testing that process. That sounds amazing. So perhaps this is a oh, I just remembered at the start of this video, he was like, most of these games aren't going to come out. Most of these games won't even get released at all. <laughs> <laughs> High Tail is a voxel style MMORPG that was initially announced four oh, years ago. Oh god! This game is more of a sandbox style MMO and will feature building, minigame creation, quests, dungeons, bosses. Um. I hope this doesn't get released. <laughs> character customization, different classes, and a ton of in-game tools to help content creators make their own content for the game. <gasps> what? Hytale has recently redeveloped its engine to support multiple platforms, and the latest info I can find is that the team are eyeing a 2023 release. Okay. Profane describes itself as a true player-driven sandbox MMO that takes place in a traditional fantasy setting. You'll be able to explore a dynamic world that reacts to your actions. This looks like, um... In open world PvP, build health Houses and enjoy uh... skill-based action combat. Visually, I like the vibrant stylized graphics of this game as well as the PvP territory control focus. Ooh. Currently, there's no information on a release date for this game, so I'd have to speculate 2025 and beyond. The Day Before is probably the most hyped third-person looter shooter MMO coming in the near future. This looter game was shooter MMO. revealed in January 2021 with a trailer that many people had doubts about. Given the fact it's a massive open-world zombie survival shooter similar to The Division, but it's made by a relatively small dev team that hasn't released a project anywhere near this scale before. Wow. The Day Before is currently set to release on March 1st, 2023 and can already be added to your Steam wishlist. Honestly though, this seems like the kind of game you should wait for the reviews for before buying. Hmm. Project LLL is the latest looter shooter MMO from NCSoft. Wow, that looks in November nice. 2022 was unveiled with a relatively well received 9 minute gameplay trailer which showed some impressive visuals, although rather clunky looking gameplay and animations. NCSoft has quite a lot of money and have put out some decent games over the years, so I'm excited to see how this one turns out. As for a potential release, this one's looking like a 2024 and beyond MMO. Nightingale isn't really an MMORPG, but it's a first-person multiplayer open-world survival game that I think will likely appeal to MMO players given its fantasy theme. Nightingale will release in the first half of 2023 what and features procedurally this? generated realms to explore, a mix of melee weapons and guns, colossal monsters, gathering, crafting, <gasps> building, and the ability to recruit NPCs to work on your homestead. Ooh. Looks like an interesting game and it's already available to wishlist on Steam. It does look good. Past Fate is a Viking themed open world indie MMORPG that should what, be coming what do you mean to Viking Steam themed? That's a wizard. in 2023. Visually, the game has decent graphics and seems to be going Are with you sure? a Souls-style action combat system. I don't know about that. Past Fate will feature five playable classes, Warrior, Necromancer, Mage, Pirate, and Priest, a crafting and gathering system, quests, and The animation! Monsters. Yeah, I don't know. I do. Decent graphic. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't know about this one. Such as zombies, demons, and giants. I think this game looks quite cool, and I'm looking forward to covering it on the channel when it releases on Steam Early Access. Okay. War of Dragnarox is another indie MMORPG Dragnarox. coming to Steam Early Access That's in 2023, name. and has recently announced that it's transitioning to Unreal Engine 5. This game is a sandbox MMO with a traditional fantasy setting of orcs, dragons, and goblins, and there'll be a big emphasis on player exploration with no hand-holding, no world map, no level scaling, and lots of dungeons and raids. I want a modern MMO in a city with no guns, just swords and magic. But it's in a city, but there's no guns. But there's technology, but no guns. That's what I want. So the magic is the guns? I just don't want guns because guns are so stupid and boring. It's so fucking boring. Stupid fucking gun game. I fucking hate stupid gun games. Oh yeah, let me let me just get this gun. Oh, sorry guys, gotta reload. You don't have to reload magic, mana. Shut up. 
That's not the same thing. Soul Frame. Basically Warframe the MMORPG, but with a slower, more deliberate combat system, perhaps similar to Dark Souls. It's very <laughs> early in development, so not a lot of details are known about it yet. Regardless, right, Soul what's Frame this game? is a quality Soul game Frame. with a fair business model and a solid developer team. So I'd expect good things from Soul Frame. As for a release date, it will be 2025 and beyond. This looks likely. nice. Dune Awakening is a recently revealed open world Awakening. survival MMO based in the Dune universe. In this game, you'll explore the vast lawless deserts of Arrakis, <gasps> fighting bandits, sandworms, and other alien creatures with a third-person combat system where you'll be able to utilize various infantry, ground, oh, and Oh, I think this vehicles. looks so nice. Obviously, as a survival MMO, gathering, crafting, and base building will also be a big factor. There's not too many details out about this game right now, but it's looking like a game that will be playable in early access either late 2023 or early 2024. <sighs> Horizon Online is another upcoming MMORPG that was Wait, recently what? confirmed to be in the works from Guerrilla Games. We don't know really? anything about this game other than it featuring a completely new cast of characters from the other Horizon games, as well as going for a unique stylized aesthetic. Yeah. This one seems extremely early in development, so I, I love the horizon the world until 2025 and beyond. This world Into is beautiful. The Echo is an Unreal Engine 5 MMORPG that was teased in September 2021 with a trailer that quite frankly shows next to nothing <laughs> we do know that the game will feature time travel i want to see the trailer what do you mean wait why are they walking like that nothing we do know that the game will feature time travel <laughs> through different civilizations though which is kind of is it sped up this is yet an wait, what? <laughs> uh into the echo trailer it's uh one minute long Does it show next to nothing? Let's find out. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Some whispering. Okay. <gasps> no. No. They're actually walking like that. Where did they go? A time travel odyssey. Damn, that trailer really did show next to nothing. <laughs> oh man. They went into the echo. They really did. Another MMO that I wouldn't expect to release any time before 2025. Madworld is a Korean isometric MMO oh. in the world with gruesome cartoon style visuals. Gruesome this game will be visuals. free to play, feature a mix of both PvP and PvE content, as well as some of the most hideous bosses you'll ever see. I expect Madworld will release in 2023, as the game's recently been in beta testing and a Steam wishlist page is already available. As with all free to play Korean MMOs though, do expect this one to come for your wallet. It's so Legends ugly, it's kind of cute. Similar to Micros, this is a recently announced MMORPG from Wii Made that will also be cross-platform on mobile and PC, as well as using Unreal Engine 5 and blockchain technology. Once again, lovely trailer, but we'll have to wait for what the gameplay to see block if there's any promise technology. with this one. I'm super skeptical myself, especially with how Mer 4 turned out. Legends of Ymir is currently looking like a 2024 release as of the making of this video. Chrono Odyssey. But how are they going to use Engine NFTs Korean in Korean MMORPG that showed off a cool trailer two years ago that was mostly CGI. This game will be cross-platform on PC, PS5 and mobile devices, and not a whole lot is known about the game. Apparently Chrono Odyssey is confirmed for 2023, but given the fact that we haven't seen any actual gameplay yet, I kinda doubt it. Ares Rise of Guardians is an mm, upcoming sci-fi MMORPG out. from Kakao Games that gives me budget Warframe vibes. Oh. This game will be available on both PC and mobile, so it probably won't be very good, but it has a cool theme regardless. This one should come out sometime in 2023. Odin Valhalla oh, Rising, another upcoming PC slash mobile MMORPG Ooh. from Kakao Games. Wait, 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 uh, sin we gua guan num? No, that's not right. 
Juan Nu 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 De Gi We Han. That didn't say Odin Valhalla Rising. Cacao games that visually looks quite good. Unfortunately, the gameplay looks like it's a lot of auto pathing and auto combat. Probably heavily pay to win too, but I Damn. like the Norse theme of the game. Expect a global release for this in 2023, although I don't think it's going to be a game that will be received too well by critics. Ember Sword is a blockchain MMORPG that's been in development for years. It reminds me of Albion Online, but with more basic <sighs> graphics. Ember Sword will be a browser MMO with PvP, land ownership, top-down gameplay, and action combat. I'm actually curious to try this game, simply because this is one of the few blockchain MMOs that have been in development for years before crypto gaming became a hype bandwagon, with its first announcement trailer all the way back in 2018. As for release date, it's looking like 2023. Perhaps some of you remember a game a few okay, years ago. Okay, sorry. Called... I am really, really confused. What what does what do NF, what does what do NFTs have to do with MMOs? Why do they use block blockchain? Crypto MMORPG games enable you to play and earn some bucks. Something that wasn't possible in the last decade. Thanks to the rapid development and creativity, blockchain and NFT-based games are available in all shapes and sizes. It's literally just being able to buy and sell drops, but they tie it to NFTs. That's gross. It's play to earn. If I spend my whole life playing the game, I can get two quid. <laughs> Project BBQ. This was supposed to be a third-person multiplayer action RPG version of Dungeon Fighter Online. Well, Project BBQ was scrapped and transitioned to Project AK. Now this is still a game that's going to be set in the Dungeon Fighter universe, however now it's going to be more of a Souls-like in terms of gameplay, and it's only going to be releasing on consoles initially. Star Citizen is the biggest meme when it comes to upcoming MMORPGs, as many people say this game will never release. It's by far received the most crowdfunding money out of any game ever at Damn. over $500 million. In all fairness to Star Citizen, some parts of the game are playable and look pretty cool. The truth is though, nobody knows when or if this game will ever release. Pantheon Rise it's of the Fallen. This game has been on every single upcoming MMORPG list video for the past what eight the years, hell is and it's this? currently still in pre-alpha. And by pre-alpha, I mean pre-alpha. Not some marketing alpha like we've gotten used to over the years. Pantheon Rise of the Fallen is basically trying to be the spiritual successor to EverQuest, and based on the most recent footage right. shown of it, I can't be bothered to talk about the game any further because it still looks like it's a solid five years away from completion. Camelot Unchained has been in development for yeah. 10 years at this point, and oh we haven't had an updated word? trailer for the game in nine years. The devs haven't shown any progress update on YouTube for two years, but apparently it's still in development, and they've just secured an additional $15 million of funding somehow. Okay. Personally, I don't think Camelot Unchained will ever release. Yeah. So out of all the upcoming MMORPGs mentioned in this video, which ones are you the most excited for? Honestly, the last time I made a video like this, 50% of the games mentioned either ended up being dead on arrival, straight up cancelled, or perpetually delayed. But hopefully, a few of these MMOs will turn out good. For me, my hype lies with Ashes of Creation, The Riot MMO, Arcage 2, Throne and Liberty, and Soul Frame. If any others turn out to be good, then it'd be a pleasant surprise. I this really hope that the quite a lot of effort with research and writing to make so the, like Stardew Valley one goes well. Like button for the algorithm gods. Oh man.